Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android wallpaper app tutorial series. And today in this video, we are going to just add the one click listener for each of the item from the grid view. So in the last video, we have seen that how to add the item that is the image views into the grid view items and uh, we already have four images inside our android app and we have seen in the preview we have seen that the images have been successfully added as an item into the grid view so in this video as i have said in the previous video we are going to add the click listener for each of the item from the grid view that is the image views and when each of the item that is uh, when each of the image views are clicked then it is going to set as the wallpaper of the android app and also instantly we have an image view at the top of the grid view inside our layout which shows the current wallpaper and it will be also going to update when each of the item from the grid view is actually selected let's go to the android studio now we, as you can see we have our android app everything same from the last video yeah let me show you the codes this is the codes now let's go to the main activity and everything same from the last video there's no any updates so in this video as i have said we are going to add the click listener for this image view which is actually created inside this yeah that is great image view so first off what we have to do is that we have to add the click listener in below this one that is this one this the set image resource method and in, and just uh, just after that what i'm going to do is simply typing grid image view that is grid image view then set on click listener that is new then on click listener now we have it and what I'm going to do the next thing is that I want to get the portion of each of the image view from the grid view items. So first off we have a idea that is as you can see we have uh, we already defined the wallpaper manager and we actually use it this thing. We actually created a method for that. Okay so what we have to do is that we have to get the my wall manager then add the set resource and the resource is nothing but same as what we have done at this case where is it yeah at this case it is my image array image array and now we have to add the position so that is the position is same as what we have done at this case that is the position i so if you get an error like this as you can see now it it says that we have to set it as the final so if you got that then select that i and press the alt enter and now it will be somewhere else it will be final yeah you can see now it is final the argument i int i is final now which means that it can go through the inner classes like this one this is one click is an inner class now we get a big error which says that we have to add the io exception simply press alt enter by selecting that so we have to surround it by the try catch method now that's it so much easy everything is done automatically after the closing tag of the catch we have to add one more thing that is to update the wallpaper image view according to the selected wallpaper from this image array so what we have to do is that we have to simply update it using this by calling that method my update my wallpaper and this gonna update the wallpaper actually in this video what we have done is simply added this much line and that's pretty much good to go at, at this point as you can as you guys know that we have no option to save the image into our gallery so for that we need a another button maybe there is there should be a custom button to serve the image into our gallery or we can also do it by just adding the set on long click listener like this the great image view then set on long click listener so at the beginning of the android app for the first time we can give an option for the users to say that you can serve the image inside your gallery by just long pressing on the image and uh, i guess that the better idea is to go with a custom layout that's going to display two buttons like one is the set wallpaper and the second one is to save the wallpaper into our android gallery so in the next video we will be replacing these lines with uh, custom dialog codes and that will help us to move the image into a custom dialog and there will be an option to choose between two buttons so that's for this tutorial now let's go and fire up the app and see what are the changes 
okay guys so we have the android app and as you can see everything is same from the last video but at this point what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select any one of the image from this list instantly we got the update inside the image view the image view has been updated to the selected image now when i go back to my home you can see the wallpaper is also changed so that's it so if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and if you're just new to this channel then hit that subscribe button so as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out